Hi there, this is Jared Kagwin. In this video I'll be demonstrating some applications of a fantastic new series of natural fiber broomsticks for percussionists. All handcrafted in Vienna and available from Eckerman Drums. So in this image you can see the complete set of the three pairs of broomstick variations. And as a technical note, all of the broomsticks are comprised of broom corn grown in the United States. Starting from the left, the first pair is what I call the all hard fiber staccato set. The second pair is the double ended baton set. And the third pair is the double sided wide fan set. All of these broomsticks have unique features which I would like to demonstrate now, starting with the staccato set. The reason I call these brooms staccato is because all the fibers are from a firmer quality of corn. This texture creates a very articulate stroke, whether on an instrument or just by striking your hand or legs, for example. An important feature to notice is that they are fitted with adjustable leather fiber tightening straps, which function to control whether the broom is open or closed. When the broom is closed, you get a very precise and full-bodied stroke. When the broom is open, you have a more diffused, however still very crisp sounding stroke. Both of the brooms are roughly 42 centimeters in length. When the broom is closed, the width at the tip is about 4 centimeters. Now the big difference is whether the broom is closed or in the fully open position. The handles of the brooms are a bit different respectively. The colored broom on the left has a longer handle which in turn gives a more drumstick-like control when the broom is open. The width of the colored broom in the open position is approximately 10 centimeters, and the width of the natural broom on the right extends to approximately 14 centimeters. So for this first example, I will be demonstrating the staccato broom sound on my hand with the binding in a medium closed position. In the same way, I will now show an example of the open staccato sound. Now something I do very often is to combine both of these brooms as one, thereby creating a crisp attack and a diffuse sound at the same time. Another useful application is playing the brooms on the knees independently. In this way you can really control the articulation of the strokes, just like drumsticks nearly. In the next two examples, I'll be using a flat ride to demonstrate the difference of the closed and open position sounds with a cymbal. In the first example, I will again use the medium closed staccato broom. It has a more muted attack, but brings out a nice resonance from the cymbal. And in this example, I will use the open staccato. I find this texture very nice on a cymbal, as it gives a very light brush sound and at the same time crisp and articulate. The next example will be with the close staccato on an Erve drum from Ghana, called the Sogo. I like this combination because I can get a pretty thud-like whack from the broom. 
and at the same time getting a crisp chick sound from the fibers. And the final example for the staccato brooms is with the open staccato, again on the sogo drum. One of the fantastic features of the open staccato is that I can create a controlled buzz effect on the membrane, depending on how much I press the broom into the skin. Because of this broom's extended handle, I have a very good control over the strokes on the drum. The second set of broomsticks are what I call the double-ended baton series. The obvious unique feature of these brooms is that they have different qualities on either end. Both brooms have one end with hard fibers and one end with soft fibers. The distinction is whether the brooms are stitched or open. The stitched brooms are equipped with stitching across the base of the fibers, which effectively flattens out the strands, similar to a typical drummer's brush. Contrastly, the other baton has no stitching, so the strands remain open. From this overhead view, you can see the difference in the hard fiber ends of the open and stitched models. In the following examples, I'll be showing some features of the stitched baton on a 50 cm natural skin mizhar. The stitched baton has a much more controlled sound and a very quick stroke response. The soft stitched end has a very light brush sound can be very useful in closed mic studio situations. The hard stitched end has naturally a much more crisp and precise texture. Next is the open fiber baton. This baton has a more loose, diffused quality.
Now I will demonstrate the batons, again using the sogo drum. In this first example, I will use the soft stitch baton. This is one of my favorite uses for this broomstick. I can really hit the skin for a thuddy slap and as well get good articulation around the edge of the drum. It produces a very clear and somewhat subdued sound. The hard stitched end creates a very precise and controllable chick sound. With this end I can really get clear articulation and quick and clean strokes. For the final example of the baton set, I will use both batons on a 42 cm Ekerman Creature drum. This drum is a hybrid of a tambourine and a Moroccan bendir with an adjustable snare tension device. The baton on the front edge is a hard fiber stitched and on the rear the hard open fiber. The third and final set I call the double-sided large fan brooms. These brooms are stitched, therefore the fibers lay flat. Now as the name suggests, these brooms are double-sided, meaning one side with hard fibers and the opposite side with soft fibers. This can be a very handy feature for having two contrasting sounds from one broom. These brooms are also fitted with leather adjustable binding straps to control the width of the fan. In the first example, I will be using the soft fiber side in the open position on a pan logo drum, also from Ghana. As well, there's a 45 centimeter medieval drum, a 50 centimeter mizar, and a 21 inch snake cymbal. In this example, I will again be using the Eckerman Creature Drum, now with the hard fiber side of the fan broom. The interesting feature is that I can get a very wide stroke, which also gives a good bass punch and vibration for the jingles. And because of the hard fibers, I get extreme clarity and precision. And for the final example, I have a multi-track application using the broom really as a percussion instrument in the place of kashishi or shakers, for example. So I've got both brooms on the hard fiber side, accompanied with small bell kashishi and a modified kanjira.
So there you go. I'm Jared Kagwin. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit Eckermann Drums.